Namaste everyone. My name is Nathan from the Australian School Meditation and Yoga from the Gold Coast. We're here to do a stretch and relax class this evening. Um, so we're going to start by laying onto our backs. I've um, got a pillow as, a, as our prop to start our class this, um, this evening. So we're going to be laying onto our back and just stretching out nice and long. The reason why I have my pillow is because sometimes your head can be falling too far backwards. It's very uncomfortable. So when you're laying down, you can rest your head on the pillow and that helps lengthen your neck and draw your chin towards the chest. Let's rest our hands beside us, palms upwards and feet fall out to the sides. And let's begin by focusing on our breathing. Breathing in through the nose and exhaling through the nose. When your mind becomes distracted, draw it softly back to your breathing. The inward breath is like the soft breeze, drawing in and as you exhale, also soften. The inward breath draws prana and chi into the body. And the softer you breathe in through the nose, the more oxygen appears into the deeper parts of the lungs. The outward breath is just relaxing on the outward breath. But as you begin to connect with your breathing, this outward breath is going to be a little stronger being your massaging breath. The inward breath draws in, filtering the air. And as you exhale through the nose, relax through the top of your scalp. Feel your forehead softening along with your cheekbones, the eyes, the lips and the jaw. Feel the outward breath relaxing through your neck. And while my head is resting on the pillow, it's getting nice length through the back of the neck and the spine. As you exhale, feel the shoulders drawing away from your ears. Feel the outward breath relaxing into the shoulders, letting them fall deeper into the floor. Along with your biceps and triceps. Feel relaxed through your forearms. Your wrists, hands and fingers. Exhale, feel the top of the spine falling deeper into the floor, along with your middle part of the spine and lower back. Feel that relaxation through your buttocks, top and back of the thighs, down into the calves and into the toes. Place your hands on your belly. Gently just rest your hands. And as you inhale through the nose, the belly will rise. As you exhale, let the belly fall. As your belly rises up and down, it is no different to the deepest parts of the sea on the horizon. Rising up and down just like you're drawing into the deeper parts of the lungs. As you inhale from the belly, let the air travel to the ribs. Take your hands to the ribs and feel them expand the ribs and exhale, just let it fall back down to the belly. Feel it rising from the belly to the ribs and exhale. Feel the rising seas getting closer to the shore. As you inhale from the belly, 
The air travels to the ribs. The air travels all the way now to the shoulders, up to the chest. And exhale, let it fall. So you're feeling the air rising from the belly all the way to the ribs and up into the chest. Exhale, let it fall. And feel the rising seas getting closer to the shore. Rest your palms upwards, rest them just where they began. Just let yourself relax into your breathing and how you feel now is how you should feel throughout your class. Bring the arms overhead like a child waking up in the morning as you inhale. Don't let your lower back lift off the floor, so keep your vertebrae pressed into the floor and your arms as they go back, don't touch the floor either. So keep your shoulders nice and engaged. As you exhale, draw the palms forward. Soften through your arms. Inhale, draw them overhead. Breathing in and breathing out. Keeping the vertebrae on the floor still. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's take a challenge by as you draw the arms overhead, rotate the palms so they're facing down behind you but not touching the back of the floor. Keep your vertebrae in the mat imprinted and then rotate the palms back to normal as they come forward, palms facing down and exhale. This small rotation through the shoulder is drawing synovial fluid into the joint, protecting the joint, bringing oil into the body like a car. So this fluid is helping protect and keep the joint healthy. Let's do one more of those. Inhale. And exhale. Rest your palms beside you and draw your right and left heel close to the buttocks with the feet on the floor. Both thighs are gently together and your knees are bent. You can stretch your palms out wide horizontally with your palms upwards. As you inhale, exhale, take your knees to the left hand side, keeping both thighs stacked on top of each other. You can always draw the knees closer to you if you'd like to challenge further and your left hand is on top of the thigh. The right hand is stretched out horizontally with your palm upwards feeling a stretch through your shoulder. Now I like to just look up to the sky, but if you'd like you can always look to the right hand side, looking towards your hand and away from where your knee is travelled. As we're staying here, inhale through the nose and try exhaling through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Let all that release of tension on the outward breath, unloading all that tension off the shoulders. Inhale. Two more times. And one. Let's come back to center. Inhale, exhale to the right hand side. Just remembering a few things, both thighs on top of each other, the right hand goes on top of the thigh. The left arm is stretched out, palm upwards. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Remember that left shoulder is pressed into the floor as well. Inhale. Th 
three. Two. And one, good job. Let's come back to center and hug your knees. Just give yourself a nice hug. You can always take it a little further by rocking gently side to side. Now you don't do things fast in your stretch and relax class. You want to be able to connect with your breathing. So as you inhale, exhale, twisting at the same time. You can always draw into half circles, drawing the knees up one side of your body, exhale, release, inhale the other side, exhale, release. And that helps lengthen the spine, massaging through the lower back and feeling warmth in the kidneys. Let's slide our left leg along the floor, draw the right thigh into the body, and we're going to do small circles at the ankle joint. We do millions of kilometers on our feet, but we forget about these small little joints. And just like we did with our shoulder rotation, this rotation of the ankle joint also brings synovial fluid into the joint. If you hear the snap, crackle, pops, it's fine. It's just air pockets and reversing the circle, the more you do it, the less you'll hear it. Good job. Let's keep this knee into chest. Keep your foot still. Press your palms into the floor as extra base. And we're going to take the knee out to the side with our knee bent still. Don't let your body rotate Keep your vertebrae on the floor, then extend your leg out along the mat. Bring your knee back into the center line. Inhale, open. Keep your vertebrae on the floor. Soften through the joint. Relax now. With your palms are in the ground as extra base as well. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale. Let's do two more of those. It's quite a strong one for the joint. I find it's very getting deep into the actual ball and socket. Let's draw that knee back into the chest. Let's draw that knee towards the armpit if you'd like to take it further. And let's breathe in for five breaths. Inhale. <sighs> Try breathing out through the mouth or you can breathe out through the nose. Inhale. Through the nose, exhale. Inhale. Two more. And one. Good job. Let's keep this knee into chest, but now we're gonna place this right foot on top of the left thigh. Use your left hand to pull the knee over to the left. Now stretch your right arm out long, palm upwards horizontally, stretching through the shoulder. Now you wanna keep that shoulder on the floor, so if it starts to lift, you don't have to take your knee any further. So as you inhale through the nose, exhale, that's when you take the knee a little further down. Now the best way to connect with this is just really relaxing into your breath. So inhale, softens the body. Exhale. Three more. Two. And one. Well done. Let's bring our knees back into chest and give ourselves another hug. You have the options, you can rock side to side or half circles. 
Let's slide our right leg along the floor. Draw the left knee into the body. And now we're going to begin by rotating at the ankle joint. So this is a nice little routine you can try anywhere because it's most of this beginning is in the starting is on our back. So this is a nice little routine you can try to remember or go back to in your video. And then as you reverse the circle, and that pretty much is going to give a good gentle stretch throughout your body before we start getting a little bit more into our class. Let's keep nice and still the foot now. Let's place the hands onto the floor and take your knee always first out to the side, knee bent, then extend. Extend means just extend, kicking the leg straight out, then rotate the knee so it's back to normal position and then bring it back into the body. So again, you don't wanna be rocking side to side with your body, you wanna keep your grounded. This will help your abdomen be strong. So you want to be able to connect with the vertebrae on the floor. Inhale, exhale as it draws back in. Good job. Keep nice and relaxed. You don't need to do things fast either. Try to be gentle and soft and strong in your practice still at the same time. Let's draw the knee back into the body and you can draw it closer to the armpit if you'd like. Inhale through the nose. Ah, <sighs> just relax. You can do outward through nose or out through mouth. <sighs> Three. <sighs> Two. And one, left foot on top of right thigh. Take it over to the right, left arm out. You can look up to the sky or look away from where your knee has traveled. Breathing in, drawing the knee down, exhale. <sighs> Relax, two, one. Great job. Let's hug our knees, keep them in. And we're gonna keep them sort of at tabletop or you can have your knees a little bent, so that's fine. Press your palms into the floor as extra base. And if you engage your inner thighs, that will engage your abdomen more as well. And we're just going to take the knees side to side. Now, when you take this knees rocking side to side, you have to remember that you are actually keeping the vertebrae on the floor. So we're going to just take them side to side and your palms are on the ground. And as the knees go to the left, you look to the right. As the knees look to the, to the right, you look to the left. And you need to be able to connect with your breathing. So inhale, exhale, twist. And this is also going to ring out toxins throughout the body, liver, kidney, and spleen. It's like ringing out a wet towel. Good job, bring your knees in the chest for two, one, place the feet onto the floor. And the feet are gonna be like strong roots of the tree. So nice strong roots of the tree form a good base. We're going to begin by scooping the tailbone. So the first thing with rolling up your vertebrae is that you have to scoop the tailbone for them lower vertebrae to roll up. And as you feel them peeling up off the ground, You've tried to get each vertebrae peeling up. Now, as you peel down, you have to begin at the top of your spine, push down as much as you can, and roll back down. So we're going to do that, but we're going to incorporate arms going overhead with an inward breath. So scoop the tailbone, inhale, rise up. And exhale, feel the top vertebrae rolling down each vertebrae peeling back into the floor. Well done. So it's quite tricky. You, you'll actually start to see that a few of your vertebrae are, are not gonna peel back and forth down. It's, it's just different spinal alignments, but eventually you'll get nice and start supple in your spine. And this is also a very good strengthener for your abdomen. And as we rise up, it actually is a nice little stretch through the quad as well. Just a gentle one. 
Inhale, exhale, rolling back down. Inhale, scoop. And lift up and roll back down. Let's do one more. Rolling up. Great job, everyone. We got one more exercise on our backs. So we're going to stay with our feet on the floor, but we're going to take our feet nice and wide. Now, nice and wide doesn't mean you're bringing your knees together or your feet together. Your feet just far apart and keep your knees in line with your ankle. And we're going to just take the legs over to the left hand side. Now you can just stretch your arms out again. So your feet are far apart and you're just relaxing into that. Let's stay here for five. Four. Three. Two. And one, you can always take your left foot on top of your right thigh to draw down even deeper for five, four, three, two. Release the foot, keep your feet far apart. Inhale, exhale to the other side. Great job. Feel relaxed in that stretch. Really feel nice and gentle through your hip. Let's go for two more breaths. Let's place the right foot on top of the left thigh, draw the knee down for five, four, three, two. Release the foot, stretch your legs out like we did at the start and your palms to the side, just upwards. And let's just take in that really nice start to our class. Let's begin by rolling on our right hand side. Place your your left hand onto the floor. Now, if you are a, a lady out there who is pregnant at the moment, you just roll to your left. So you can go either side and just use that hand to push up and we're gonna come up into sitting. Cross leg position. You can always um, use your pillow again for uh, this next part of our class. So let's place it underneath the buttocks. That helps me sit nice and tall, see? Lifting up through my sitting bones. And we're going to just take the hands to the knees and drawing forward. Circles, small circles, big circles, but keep everything nice and tall. Don't have to move your head. Inhale as you draw forward, exhale, come back. Good job. Let's do one more. Let's reverse the circle. Really good, that feels nice. Keeps our spine nice and long. Let's walk our hands to the right hand side, left hand on the knee, back hand keeps you tall. Gentle twist from the torso, then look over the shoulder. If you have neck problems, just look to the side. Walk your hands around to the opposite side with your right hand on the knee, gentle twist from the torso, then look over the shoulder. As we come back to center, we're gonna take the right hand on the floor, left arm travels over, exhale. Looking good out there, I can see you. Coming on each side, just inhale, exhale, inhale, <sighs> Exhale, one more time. And then we're gonna come back to center. We're just going to take our hands just to the top of the head, massaging the top of our crown. 
We won't be touching our face, but it, giving a little massage just around the crown. And then you can take the thumbs down to the back of the neck and just below the head you start to massage through there as well. And remember when you're doing it to so just breathe in and out. So don't put tension into yourself. So inhale. <sighs> just relax into that nice little massage you're giving yourself. And that thumb goes down the neck, drawing down. Now the finger and thumb is at the bottom of the neck, pinching into that muscle below the, the neck, the trapezius. So you're just giving yourself a massage there. Really relax again into your breathing. And then just release the hands. Lift the shoulders up, inhale. Let's draw nice heart shapes with our breath. Inhale. Inhale. Big hearts in the room. Inhale. Exhale, two more, and one, well done, let's raise our hands, inhale, exhale, inhale through the center line, rise, open chest, you can interlock your fingers or knuckles to the floor, draw your shoulders back and breathe, relax and breathe. Three, two, and one. Hands to the knees, chin to chest. Roll up the spine. Big deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. If you have vertigo, blood pressure problems, keep your head above the heart with your hands on the floor. If you want to take it further, rest your forearms to the floor. Let your head relax for five, four, Three, two, and one. Walk your hands back up. Well done. Raise the arms up. Inhale. <sighs> Raise them back up. Hands to heart center. Well done. We're going to come from here into a gentle single leg stretch. As the right leg stretches out, our knee is just a little bent to keep our spine long. Now rather than arching to the toe, I'm going to try and fold from my, to the abdomen to the thigh. Now to pull yourself further down, rather than reaching for the toe, pull against the leg. See how I'm folding forward? Now you might just place your hands on the floor and, that, and if you're feeling it in your hamstring, that's great. So inhale and exhale, just stay here. If you want to take it further, keep coming forward. If you want to go even further, wrap the hand behind the center of the foot instead of the toe and fold and look towards your foot, breathing in, exhale, folding forward, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two, And one. Great job. Nice stretch to the hamstring. This gentle twist to the right just to loosen through that lower back. Okay, we're going to do the other leg. So there's a few pointers. You can do whatever you feel is necessary, but they're good little pointers to remember. That knee a little bit bent keeps myself tall. Pulling forward, exhale. Rather than arching my back, I'm keeping a nice long spine. Inhale, exhale, folding forward. Let's get deeper into that stretch. Three. Two, and coming up and gentle twist to the left. 
Well done. Okay, this pillow's been handy. I think we'll use it one more time. So we'll lay it back. Again, it's an option. You don't have to have the pillow. So we're going to lay back down with our head. I've got my head on the pillow, but you're welcome to take it back. But it keeps the chin towards the chest. Now, my knees are bent, my feet are on the floor. A few pointers with the uh, supine pigeon we're going to do next is first we place the right ankle on top of the left thigh. Now, if you are feeling very tight in your knee, uh, in your hip, sorry, that means your knee will be pointing like this and it's not going very far back towards here where you would really like to have it. So rather than lift the left foot off the floor, I'm going to use my right hand just to push it away from me. So that could be your first option for your supine pigeon. Now if you feel you can go further than that, raise your left foot, take your hands onto the left thigh so the right hand goes through the right hole. And you take both hands to the left thigh and then you draw it back and forth. Now I find having the pillow behind the head is really good for this one because if your head falls even further back while you're trying to do this, remember that you're breathing in and out through the stretch. So you have two options there, the basic one, or you can just continue challenging. You can always raise your leg up as well to get a little deeper. So there's a few options and just relax into that stretch. <sighs> Relax and breathe. Great job. Let's just change feet. Okay, just remember, so the first one is that if your knee is pointing towards you, it's too tight in your hip. So just use your left hand, push that away. Keep your right foot on the floor. You can raise your right foot off the floor now, take it further if you'd like to challenge more drawing back and forth, inhale, exhale. Inhale, drawing in, exhale, release. Well done, everyone. Let's do one more. Bounding stretches are nice. And let's stretch our legs out, palms upwards again. Phase two is done. <sighs> Just remember which side to roll, coming back up. So we're going to now come into all fours on our mats. You can take the pillow away now. So I'm just gonna put it here for now. And we're gonna come up into all fours. We're going to take the hands under the shoulder line, the knees in line with the hips. As the tailbone lifts, we breathe in. And exhale, stretch to your cat. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Gently stretching each time. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Let's do two more. One more time. Let's take a challenge. Let's take our left foot back. You can keep your foot on the floor. Oh, sorry, your hands on the floor. Your left leg is stretched out nice and long. If you want to take the further challenge, take the left leg is up, the right hand lifts and hold. Keep looking at your mat. Keep breathing for 5,000, 4,999, just kidding. We have three more breaths to go. Two and one, well done. Let's come back into our cat cows, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more time. Inhale, 
And exhale. Great job. Okay, you ready? Stretch your right leg out. If you want to raise the left arm, do so. Continue for one million. Keep breathing. Two. And one. Great job. Open your knees nice and wide, buttocks back to the heels. And rest if you have blood pressure, vertigo, double fist. Keep your head above the heart, rest your head like this. Or rest back down with your forehead. Okay, we're going to do another hip exercise from here. So I'm gonna bring my left knee forward. Now, I'm gonna slide my back leg long. Now, when with my left knee forward, we don't want your foot sitting underneath you. So you wanna bring it up a little like a can opener shape. That could be quite strong. So we'll show you some options. This is the first one you can do. You can bring that foot up a further if you wanna get more challenge. Again, keep your head above the heart if you need to double fist or stretch your arms out, forehead to the floor. You might like to even place your pillow underneath your right buttocks to keep you even. Now if that's too much, you can go and just lay on your right side like you're laying in bed and just use your pillow and just lay to your side. Either way, it's just getting a nice subtle stretch. So we're going to go into the harder option and rest now. Remember to breathe in and out and just soften into the hip. For five, four, three, Two, well done. So we're gonna come out of that pose and we're gonna come back to all fours. And all you do is just change sides, remembering those options. So we're gonna come into the harder version first. I'm gonna bring my left foot up a little more cause I like to get deep in my stretch. Again, you rest back down. You might need your pillow on, on, on that left side, resting your pillow underneath. You might like to lay just completely on your side if that's too much. I'll go into the harder version and let's just relax. Really relax your whole body and really appreciate the nice stretch. If you have any pains in your any localized points, remember that you just have to have intuition to keep out of those stretches like this one here. If you do feel uncomfortable at any time, you can just lay on your belly or you can come into your child's pose, open leg or normal. Three more breaths. Two. And one. Well done. Let's place the pillow just out of the way for now and lay onto our bellies. We're going to do some back bends. So let's first just lay our head to one side like you're at the beach, palms underneath. And while you're there, you can just rock your hips side to side. Really relax into that stretch. Nice loosener through the lower back. We're going to begin by placing the forearms onto the floor. Now, I find when my forearms are on the floor, it helps my middle back stretch. So as we draw down, inhale, exhale, inhale, rise, exhale down. Now if you engage your abdomen a little bit, it gets even deeper into that middle back. So as you inhale, rise, exhale down. So if you have middle back, problems where you need a good stretch, engage your core and feel it deeper in that stretch there. Now if you want to go into your lower back more, raise your 
Hands, the elbows off the floor. Inhale, exhale, bring the elbows down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Great job. Let's stretch our arms back, raise our thighs off the floor. Look down at your mat like a torpedo. Relax and breathe for five, four, three, two. And come into your superhero pose. Looking down at the mat, the world needs you. Keep flying, five, four, three, two, now kick the arms and legs for five, four, three, two, and rest. Great job. Hands to the underneath, head to one side. Rock your hips side to side and just relax. <sighs> Let's come back to open leg child. Remember you can rest double fist again. Forehead to the fists, or you can stretch your arms out long and relax. Well done. Let's come to all fours. Place both feet on the ground and just roll the spine up. Well done. We're just going to do some Tai Chi swings while we're here. So the left heel lifts and we just look over the shoulder. I find it's nice because your whole spine is moving as one. So we circle, just lift the heel up and just looking over the shoulder. Inhale, exhale, just lift and twist. Now, it also, you can rub the hand along which the MIG men point in Chinese. So it's just nice rubbing against the kidney point, very energizing as we come into winter. As you can see, my eyes are still looking towards you, rotating. And you don't want your arms to go crazy. You just want them to be gentle. Relax and into that stretch. We're also going to do a nice breathing exercise which incorporates the whole body. So we bend the knees, chin to chest, breathe in, roll up the spine, inhale, exhale. Let's recommence. Chin to chest, inhale, exhale. Keep rolling up like, like a wave. Relax, exhale. Let's do one more of those. Let's bring our hands to heart center. Let's raise the arms, inhale. Exhale through the heart center. We're going to add the mantra Goranga. As we inhale, breathe in and exhale, Goranga. Raise up. Goranga.
time. Koranga. Let it resonate through the heart and mind. Awesome. Let's lay down for Savasana now, laying onto our backs, just relaxing into the sweet, beautiful sounds of Gurunga. Palms upwards, eyes are closed. Begin to awaken the body with an inhale, exhale. <sighs> Begin to move the fingers and toes, the limbs, and stretch your arms overhead like a child waking up in the morning. Inhale. Exhale, draw the palms forward. <sighs> One more time, inhale. And exhale. In your own time, gently roll to the right side. So left side, pregnant ladies out there. And sorry, the right side for the pregnant ladies. So they come down over to the right with their right hand on the floor. And if for everyone else, you can go to the right hand side, bring your left. <laughs> I think I got that right. <laughs> So we're going to now do uh, Kirtan meditation, which is an uh, awesome way to finish. Most recommended way to meditate in this age. It helps purify the heart and mind. So I'm going to use my ukulele. I'm going to sing the mantra Goranga through uh, a few times, and then I'll help you on the response. And as you get more um, aware of the sound and more comfortable singing the tune with the mantra, I'll let you go for a few of them as well. So I'll help you on the response, but it, usually it's a call and response meditation. But we can, we're mutually sharing this mantra together.
resonate through the heart and mind. May you sleep well and smile tomorrow. Namaste. Thank you for the class.